Welcome back. We just picked up um, Garrus, as well as Rex. And um, I uploaded the first video, and the response seems to be pretty positive so far, so I guess I'm doing more of these. Making that video was kind of interesting. I did this keeper, right? Yes. Um, because these are 1440p, 60 frames per second, and I've never done videos in that high quality before. And it's definitely stretching the limit of my um, primitive editing tools, which after all these years is still just AVI synth, nice and free. Can't I just look at the view here? Isn't there like a thing? Or is that only if I'm actually in Caden with me? <laughs> I mean, I appreciate its higher resolution, but it does look very flat in the uh, background. I don't really give the impression that that's going into the distance. Um. Yeah, so that took me a, Excuse me, Commander Shepard. a little while to edit. At least I can use 64-bit AVI since nowadays. Um, and processing it took like four or five hours. Unfortunately, like, I can use my video card to process the, the video, but I can't get the quality to come out right when I do that. So I'm still using X264, which is a free encoder which just still uses the CPU, which takes way longer, but the quality is also much better. And then I have to upload it with my meager 10 megabit per second upload speed. Thanks, Comcast. <laughs> just took like an hour and a half. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got killed. If anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. Everybody just loves to drop your backstory into conversation. They don't really do that so much in the later games. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. I guess so. And of course we're going to help. Emily. She even has the same name as us now. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. There's quite a few um, side quests on the Citadel. I don't remember all of them. Oh. Well, I think I remember most of them, I just don't remember, like, when they fall in the... Let's go to Flux first. When they uh, fall in the chronology, because I know there's some you don't get until you go to the Citadel twice, and some you don't get until after you're the Spectre. I don't really remember the exact order of things. I just feel like looking around here. Hey, good to see another human in here. Well, how about uh, these two? Not a bad place, but it's just not the same as back home. Can we still dance? Wasn't well, that a thing, or is that Mass Effect 2 that I'm thinking about? That you can... dance. There's no prompt for it. And it doesn't seem to be happening automatically, so either I'm misremembering or it's something they changed. Anyway, Shepard's a terrible dancer anyway, so don't know who wants to see that.
Oh, we're actually overhearing them. You know how stubborn your sister can be. The more you push and prod, the more she'll run away. So we can do the the, the sister who works at uh, Cora's den thing right now. All right. The um, I'm pretty sure the uh, the mission with the guy who wants to cheat at Quasar is later. I am not interested in playing Quasar. I am interested in this, yeah the suspicious gambling machine. Someone rigged this machine to funnel credits their way. I'll run a trace. And there's a keeper here, which is always useful. Um, the journal tells you where to go with this one, I think. The wards access corridor, I know where that is. We'll, we'll deal with uh, fist first. I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. That's not good. Yeah, no. Killing people tends to be bad. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Chorus Dan is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Um, let's just hope she's not there when we're shooting up the place. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some Quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. I'm not. What can you tell me about the sisters working for you? Well, Jenna left to work at Cora's Den. Now her sister Rita is all worried she might be in some kind of trouble. Not much chance Jenna will change her mind, though. She's a stubborn one. If she wanted to come back, I'd take her in a second. Customers loved her. I would just some someday I just want to try this out in real life. Just go up to random strangers and ask them about their trouble. Wonder if they would actually tell me. Probably not. Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Yeah, you said that. Goodbye. Enjoy your time here at Flux. I think that's it, right? Yeah, no other keepers here either. Let's head down to, uh... Cora's Den. Wait, since I've already recruited Garrison Rex, I wonder if the two assassins that normally show up in the corridor there. That loading spot is still there. Um, I wonder if they'll show up this time. Or if that won't happen because we're already attacking Korra's den. I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this model. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really, that's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place! Now, are you gonna give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. I'm sorry, I can't. But, 
what, what you... Can't help you. Thus begins the epic saga of Refund Man. Probably the um, greatest story ever told. And of course, we know it's all about a refund for toaster, so. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Seems worth it, right? Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed. It doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well. If you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. I, um... kind of wonder <laughs> how he knows about that. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, well, I'm sure he's fine. Wait, do you know what's going on or don't you? Why would you bring up those specific two colonies that happen to be the two that we're going to visit? Otherwise... Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Um, at least he only has one uh, menu to go through. Omni tools are usually good, but I don't need one personally. And this one's too expensive for me right now. Median armor is kind of useless. Nah, nothing here I need. I'll just get the license and get out. No grenade upgrades or anything. That would be nice, grenade or metal gel, but I think I'm, my level is still too low for that. Oh god, do we have to deal with this guy? I guess we should. Is that really? Wow! It's you! You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. I wonder if they patched out the the bug where he tells you that you've shot him even if you or threatened to shoot him. I forget if you actually shoot him. Um, but he says that you did that even when you don't in Mass Effect 2. I'm guessing they can't, because there's dialogue recorded talking about that. They probably have to change that. If they uh, remove that bug. Uh, we don't need to be that nice to him. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Here you go. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! He's actually not married, is he? I... not entirely sure if I remember that right. I do remember that he has like a PhD in something, which um, is still ridiculous. And as a PhD, I am offended. Mm. Is there a keeper here? I guess not. There is Moreland's famous shop. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? No, I want bad supplies. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Um, not really interested in non-human armors at the moment. 
Any good stuff is going to be too expensive anyway. Managel upgrade. That we will take. Oh, and there's another one, but it's too expensive. We'll take the license. And uh, remember, this is here. That is something you should be able to do. Like, flag an item and then... You can look up later where you saw it. Uh, or, you know, being able to... You two are very close together. You ever heard of personal space? Unless you're intimate, which, you know, I'm not judging. Alright, um, no reason to go up there right now. As I said, not sure. I did, did I upgrade everybody? I did. Yeah, see, there's no... No assassins here. I wonder if they show up later, then. This is, I remember this being like the first sort of harder fight, especially because it's hard to get good cover that isn't outside and therefore affects a bunch of uh, people. Uh, sorry, it means you can still be seen by a bunch of people. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, let's have you use... Overkill and more warp, I guess. Can I throw you, or are you too far away? I can throw him. Um, I can't throw you again. That's kind of annoying. With Caden and... I have more options, I think. I think sabotage is good. I do not see anybody. Somebody's in the way. I guess I could order them to go somewhere more useful, but... Um... How does everybody go Garrus? Does not have anything to boost his shields, so... That's not helpful. I, um, I should be using it. Please, my health regenerates now. He just charged me. Alright, let's use barrier so I can get back here without dying. Not sure how successful that was, but uh, you're annoying. Did I kill him? I'm not sure if that's actually gonna do it. Yeah, no, it worked. You got one of them anyway. Go, go, go! Man, I'm almost thinking if I should increase the difficulty because this is like oh, not hard now. anymore. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. 
Is there an achievement for higher difficulty? If so, I probably won't get it because there's... Where are the achievements anyway? Because I'm playing this through Origin and I didn't see anything about achievements there. I'm just going to look if it's in the main menu. There, There is that. So I did get, I don't remember seeing that. Many of these are kind of similar to what we had, what we had before. I never got all the achievements in one, mainly because of the, yeah, these ally things, because that requires you to just play. Oh, now it actually says how many missions you need to do instead of most missions. So maybe I can get these then this time around. I think before it it would say most missions I think. Yeah, we'll see. Um Oh, there's this these are across the I doubt I'm going to do that again ever. Yeah, these are across the trilogy. Interesting. All right. Um, so there's one for insanity, but there's not one for hardcore. So I wouldn't be missing an achievement by um, changing difficulty now. Not that it really matters. Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot! This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like Fist anyway. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Rex is like, an interesting philosophy. I'd never thought of that. Um, oh wait, since I have Rex with me, that means Fist is gonna die. Like he did in my Let's Play. Yeah, not like it really matters. It barely, uh, he barely has a cameo in Mass Effect 2 from what I remember. Um, shotgun. Might be interesting for Rex. It's not really worth it, is it? Wait, actually this is damage per second, not... So despite the lower... ...firing rate, it still has higher overall DPS. That's actually more useful to know than just damage. Because I always thought this was per shot, but I guess maybe it's per second. Eh, fine, you can have it then. Uh, we'll declare this one junk. Um, is this the room where Fist is? Yes. Yes, it is. And I remember him having birds. And I'm right. And I don't really have anything useful to use against them, except maybe warp. At least make him take more damage. Oh, did he just Wait, die because I blew up the turret? Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, It'll be Saren's men waiting for her. 
Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Um, again, I think you might have had less time. Not sure. Still have time to do this, obviously. My mouse was, um... Annoying. Stimulant pack. And uh, he seems to be using a shotgun anyway, so I'll give him uh, some upgrades on that. Cooldown reduction, that's actually kind of useful. Would be useful for me too, but I like my health regeneration too much. You know what? This seems like it's actually a good place to try it out. Let's see what happens if we go to hardcore. I always wonder where were these guys when we were uh, originally fighting our way in. Fine. Close enough, I think. I'll warp you. Don't have time to deal with them. Uh... We don't want the Quarian to be lost. I don't think you can actually progress if you, if she dies. But even if you could, I wouldn't want to. There we go. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. At least Tolly's on it, unlike Liara, who just sits in the corner and cowers and does nothing. Hey! Hey! Ow. That, uh... Oh, wrong key. That's what I was trying to do. But I thought it was F, and it's not. Um. Um. No. Throw. These people love to use sabotage, don't they? was not as effective as I would have hoped. Can't do anything. Oh, 
protect myself. This guy is annoying. Just there we set go. me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den, do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage, my rite of passage into adulthood. No, Dino's surprisingly nice to Tali, which, you know, gotta give him credit for that at least. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. It's not like you could um, fake an audio recording. You could do that now. <laughs> I'm assuming there's like more there that like authenticates this as being a genuine recording somehow. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the Conduit. Any idea what that means? The Conduit must have something to do with the Beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The Beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I do. That bastard is working together with Counselor Troy. Actually, there's a story I heard uh, about Marina Sirtis at a convention where someone asked her about her work on Mass Effect like shortly after the game was originally released. And she was like, what? I didn't work on that. Because apparently there had been quite a long time between the recording sessions and the release of the game, so she'd forgotten. Radio Sirtis is kind of weird at conventions sometimes. If you've ever seen her panels on YouTube or whatever, or in person. I have not. I've seen Michael Dorn uh, in person. At a 
And James Doohan, before he died. Hell of a lot better than after he died. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. So I'm guessing she got that from the this Geth Memory Core as well? The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Obviously, I'm going to recruit Tali. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Alright, new squad mate. Um, I don't think we're really going to do much more fighting on the... Citadel, so it doesn't really matter. All that much, so I guess I'll go with um, Team Dextro for all time's sake. I've got the biotic sites covered myself, so. And now it's Mass Effect. We've got Garrus and Tali here. Trying to look at your you know, at your suit textures, Tolly. Making it difficult. I think this might help. Can you like face me? Apparently not. Am I gonna have to snipe you? They try to get out of the way of your gunfire, that's what's the problem. They did a good job. Nice to see, as they've been doing a pretty good job with everything so far. That works, I guess. Her original armor always had the swirls, I think. Which, of course, is kind of her signature thing in the later games. It's kind of funny, because the the character model for Tali here is what becomes the base character model for Quarians in Mass Effect 2 and 3. And Tali gets a more customized model. Didn't really bring that in. She has a knife on her boot. Don't think I've. Don't know if I've noticed that before. If I did, I'd forgotten. Anyway, I think our uh, job is to go back to the council. Um. That's a nice assault rifle. Too bad nobody I um, I have with uses those. I mean, Garrus sometimes does, I guess. I guess he's not really sniping so far, so... Might as well give him that. Do we have anything to give to Tali? No, I don't think I do. Well, I can give her a weapon mod. 
That's about it. We did also level up. And we're done with... Uh, Uh, with the th six points per level. Actually, that's kind of good. That means I should go to the tower now, because if this still works the same way, and I don't know that it does with the uh, with the change in the leveling system, but becoming a Spectre is a guaranteed level up. So the fact that I just leveled up means I'm going to get like the most out of this uh, XP bonus. Um, although it is better if you can leave it to a later level as well, because then you need get more XP per level. Um, anyway, what am I doing? I don't have any more of that. I would really like to unlock Singularity. But pistols are also useful. Um, let's put, yeah, point in warp. And actually, maybe barrier. Garrus has first aid. You also need to make sure that you have somebody with you with first aid. It's so much more complicated in this game than it is in the later ones. At least we got both electronics and decryption with Tali, which is good. There is like a thing on the Citadel somewhere that requires, I think, um, like average um, electronics or average. Decryption, or maybe even master. I'm not entirely sure. So, but that might be, especially because we're not fighting right now, I think it might be a good idea to give her some points there. What does damping do? Increases the explosion radiance on your tech proximity mines, shuts down enemy tech and biotic abilities. That sounds useful. Um, I don't know. I really like AI hacking. She's super useful on uh, against Geth and other synthetics with AI hacking. Because they just go berserk in this game and you hack are much more useful than in the later games. And four points for Garrus. Um, I guess I can give you some general points and some armor points. Why not? Gotta unlock snipers for him, of course. Alright, well, let's head over to the tower then. Actually, let's go talk to these two guys here. Actually, no, there's. I think if you talk to the guy who is at Chorus Den for. Shearer's mission first. Do you have a reason to come back here anyway? So I'll wait for that. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. Um, actually, I should not be doing side quests if I want to maximize the XP. Um, do you want to use rapid transit to get to the tower? Sure, why not? Um, 
That turned me around. I was not expecting to be facing that way. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I know you're supposed to side with our guys, but at this point, it really, um... You know, they're not being unreasonable. Like, if I were in their position, I probably wouldn't believe this story. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador. There is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Everybody except Saren. We don't care about that. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. 
We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. That's because he's an asshole. Um, also, we'll get access to special equipment, but we will have to pay for it ourselves somehow. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Wait, so you don't automatically up? I thought becoming a specter, or did they do? Maybe they did change that. I got a lot of XP out of it anyway. Huh. Interesting. Oh, this is our final battleground down there. Am I misremembering that, or...? Alright, well we got um, side quests to do. So hopefully we'll level up soon enough. Okay. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. What's in this for me? I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? We humans have to stick together. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small, independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Can you talk to Kohoku now, a Specter? I actually don't remember. I wish you could remember. You can. All right. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. I'll upload you can. the info on where my team was last seen to your ship. Maybe you can get some answers. First leads into Cerberus. Probably just a rogue cell, though. Cerberus is nothing but a collection of rogue cells. Uh, 
I do want to take the elevator at least occasionally because I want to have get those news reports. And it's definitely not as slow anymore, so that's good. Up pretty quickly, though. In other news, ExogeniCorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. That's the journal one, I think. Yep, there we go. We got a missing survey team. A lot of stuff here. Um, we did scan that keeper. It's just that's the Please one you can examine, yeah. And our um, why did I get a point in intimidate? Do you get that from? Can I get rid of that? No. You get that from becoming a specter, I guess. I really don't like the fact that Unity is separate from Metagel in this game. It's kind of annoying. Told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? You should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. <laughs> it's just such typical bureaucracy. He should buy a license to preach here. But if he does, he still can't preach here. Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the Jelly, but my superior has requested that I find a solution that does not anger the Hanar. The Hanar become... vocal when they feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. I think that's true of most religious people. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. Not entirely clear on how permits would actually um, help with that, but sure. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language, and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Um, I already have enough points, that's good. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Wait, couldn't you, like, talk more about the... Um, Enkindlers? Or is it with somebody else? I see the Hanar has left. Thank you. Maybe I should have talked to him first, before talking. Happy to help. Here. Oh well. For your assistance in this matter. Now if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Alrighty. Writing wrong? Just one wrong at a time? Or I don't know what I'm saying. Um, actually good. This is the ward access corridor, which we need to go to. Oh, we should not forget to return and help Samaj Bhatia as well. 
do that in a little bit. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Think about it, it's kind of a weird uh, religion. They're believing in something that definitely exists, or existed, in the Protheans. Kind of like the Bajorans on Deep Space Nine, I guess, because, you know, so how are you liking your posting at the Academy? their profits were real. Good. Busy, though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. Wouldn't it make more sense for Tali to be doing this? But whatever. Um, I need to go through these because <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, signal to the Presidium. Oh, that's right. That's these behind uh, Barlow Vaughn. I think. Um, deliver information to uh, Emily Wong and speak to General Septimus, which is what we're going to be doing next. I think the Spacer personal side quest is initiated from here. Like, there's somebody here who knows your parents or something, which is why it's so easy to miss because. There literally is no reason to ever go through here once you've unlocked fast travel. And it's the only place that, um... Uh, it's the only place that... Uh, you can't reach with fast travel. I mean, you do need to go here again, I think, for... The scanning side quest. Do you regret leaving Citadel security to pursue Seren, Garrus? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. I'm pleased that the imminent destruction of all organic life has improved your career opportunities. <laughs> I love the crewmate banter. I'm happy they didn't get rid of it entirely. Um, this is the corridor that we went through before, right? Yes. And there's a keeper scan here, which I hadn't done yet. I don't... Are you... Where are you? Did you just teleport? I think you just teleported. It's stuck behind the door, probably. Um... Isn't there another mission talking to uh, Dr. Michelle, or is that later? I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard. I didn't see you come in. Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. I might be able to help you. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges. They just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license. They'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? I'll make sure they don't tell anyone. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan, down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. Good luck, Commander. Be careful down there. 
Alright, um, wait, that is fighting, isn't it, that mission? So we are doing some more fighting. And we can hand our stuff to Emily. I still can't look at the view here, no. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Uh, still didn't level up. Almost. I need, like, 22 points. Alright, let's head back to Flux. Um, we should have some trouble in the market here. Downstairs, not here. Did I get more money? I do, but not enough for another Metagel upgrade. I like how just now there's a way to uh, blow those up. Well, or maybe it was before. It could just be because I drew my gun. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies. But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Things have changed, Moreland. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Moreland. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. You're shutting down a medical clinic. What if someone needs treatment? What if you need treatment? Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. I don't think this Baines thing ever goes anywhere, really. I guess you could get out of this without fighting. I don't remember all of these things. Um, uh, not sure if maybe now the assassins show up. They don't. I guess we just entirely bypass those. Um, I don't feel really the need to watch the sorry dancers here. There's not much point to it. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. You know, if you want to not put her at risk, maybe talking about it out loud in the place where she's uh, undercover is not the greatest idea? This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. She puts on a brave face. I guess so. I got business here, but not with you. Alright. Wait, can't you see Rex here if you go here before you see him at C-Sec? This is why I plan outlets plays normally. 
Because then I know this kind of stuff. Commander! What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Because she rejected me. Me! Septima Soraka, General of the Turian Fleet. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Um... Yeah. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. No, too bad we'll never get promoted. And we'll stay, Commander. Until we um, may or may not die. I wonder if this new Mass Effect game is gonna be like a sequel kind of thing? Are they picking a, a canonical ending or are they trying to do another side thing like Andromeda? Or a prequel, who knows? Go away. Let me let me drink in peace. I guess you can't talk to him at all anymore. If you do things in this order. Oh, you can go back here still. I guess in case you forgot the info, but there's nothing there. I don't think there's this. I don't think there's a a keeper or anything. Oh, if you forgot about him. About Jenna, meet me at Seasick Academy. What did you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. That was odd. What was he trying to tell us? I guess we better go find out. I guess we should. Um, alright. Um... Let's head back to Dr. Michelle. I kind of hope it's a more traditional game with the, the new one, not another Andromeda like. I really did not like Andromeda. I did play it, I did buy it. I never got through it though. Got kind of bored with the characters, and that is kind of a death sentence for me. I just didn't feel like spending the time either. The game didn't grab me, pure and simple, so it's unlikely I'll ever do a let's play of it, considering I haven't even finished it. Commander, how did things go? Maybe I'll change my mind one day, but I wouldn't hold my breath. He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? 
That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. The thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. We should follow up with Captain Anderson. We'll see what the Captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? I'll be going now. The battle is All right, that gave us another level. Um, gotta fill that out, of course. Also doubles my store discount, so that's good. And let's do Spectre training, is always useful. Kinda wanna unlock Unity as well, as soon as I can. Um, Garrus, you can have uh, Soul Training. Sorry, I mean Tactical Armor. Assault Rifles. Having another power wouldn't hurt. And Tali. Let's do... Um... Let's do that. That should do. Um, then we should head up to the Presidium. Actually, we should also head down to Seaside. Let's do that first. To meet with uh, Chalik. We'll scan that one. Yeah, Andromeda just failed to grab me. And you know, maybe if I still had... The Quarians endangered the entire galaxy when they let the Geth break free. I hope your people are properly contrite, Tally. As the Turians are properly contrite for releasing the Genophage upon the Krogan. You're assuming that sterilizing them was a mistake. I think like in the original Let's Play, I barely got any elevator banter. Like, news reports are plenty, but not so much banter, so I'm glad to see that that's not the same this time. Um, should be this way. I don't if there's any keepers here. Okay, Let me get this straight. Your business part I see there is, is a place here. It needs hard disc uh, decryption <laughs> skill. No, uh, not exactly. Cause I. Cause see, we have average, so we need hard for that. I think by the time you actually unlock it, it's not relevant anymore, because I think it's Alita Helena, I think? Don't remember exactly. Let's, um... Yeah, not worry about it right now. I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Then I've got other work to do. But I... But nothing. Don't bother me unless you're willing to give me details. Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? 
Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Wasn't that the Salarian who asked us to scam the Keepers? The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. Um, Tali, you weren't there when that happened. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorban these days. Well, good luck! Uh... Hello, Commander. That's not a real conversation. Detective Chellick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just getting information, Chalik. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. He's kind of right, honestly. We were just butting in without really knowing what was going on. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? It's part of the job. Now are you going to help me or not? You're a smart guy, Chellick. Figure out another way. I do have several contingencies. She's just my option A. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But that still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Can tell that Shepard is... You know, military and not police, because she's trying to do this the uh, brute force way, which doesn't really work in this kind of investigation, I would imagine. Is there a keeper up here? I think there might be. Don't think there's anything else that's relevant here, except for some codex. Oh. And a weapons locker. Oh. Which doesn't give me anything other than. There's another elevator here that you can never use. Some more codex, which also gives you experience, which is always why that's good to do. I think you need to go here later for the second Emily Wong mission. Wait. I thought I did that. Is that a different one? I guess that's a different one. You can just look at them all in sequence, I guess. Any more? No. We'll leave them to their jobs. Were these floors always so shiny or is that something they changed? I don't remember. Um, we need to go back to the wards then. I forget where these elevators go. Docking bay. That's not where we're going. That one goes to the Presidium, I think. Deal with this guy when we're leaving. 
the requisitions officer. Don't particularly need to buy anything Coming right now. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Well, mainly it was us, but... If you listen, you can't skip. It's fine, doesn't take that long. That This whole place would be a nightmare in the... Uh, that's on the outside. In the uh, original version with like one elevator and they're that slow. Alrighty. I forget if you need to... Do you need to go talk to... Yeah, um, return to make the pickup. We don't need to talk to Rita or anyone yet, I guess. Talk to Zeltan, talk to Chorban, yep. That's all fine. Just making sure I know what I'm doing. So we have two things here, actually, because Chorbin's supposed to be here, too. I thought he was in the access corridor. I must be confused with something else. Uh, let's do Chorbin first. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Chorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. You... Spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little... over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? <laughs> if I remember, um, what he learns is what the keepers are for, but by that point, um, it's too late. I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. All right, I gotta go back to him now. Lots of running back and forth. Hold it, that's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the mods? Show her the goods. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Um, I'm gonna play it according to the plan. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Uh, we'll head back there... ...later. But I guess we'll continue in the next video.